Hi everyone! In this presentation, I'm going to talk a little bit about weekly supervised semantic segmentation or better known as WSSS. More specifically, I'm going to talk about its definition and also I'm going to introduce some of the well-known research and papers in this field. So before talking about weekly supervised part, let's a little bit talk about what is segmentation and what are its applications in computer vision tasks. Semantic segmentation is the method that associates a label or a category with every pixel in an image. As you can see in this sample, model tries to specify different objects in an image and put semantic labels on them. As a human being, this is a really easy task for us, but obviously this is not going to be that easy for machines. Surely this task has different various applications, but a well-known example is its application in autonomous driving, when cars process their surrounding areas to exactly know where different objects exist. So now we are familiar with the definition of semantic segmentation. Let's talk about various methods that we can train a neural network model to do the segmentation task. The main category is fully supervised semantic segmentation. In this method to train a model, we use only supervised datasets. In fully supervised datasets, we have images and their corresponding masks, which these masks show classification labels for each pixel in the image. Obviously, creating such datasets is a really time-consuming task and it needs many experts. Uh, on the other hand, there is a different type of semantic segmentation model which use only annotated images to learn the segmentation task. These type of models are known as weakly supervised semantic segmentation models and these datasets are called weekly supervised datasets. For further cl clarification, check the example on the screen, which the weekly supervised dataset only has knowledge on which object exists on the image and do not know where exactly those objects are in the image. Now let's go forward and talk about how a model can learn about the location of different objects in an image while it has been trained only by weekly supervised datasets. Let's dive into the, some foundation models which almost were introduced around 2015 and 2016. These are almost the first ideas to implement WSSS models on deep learning networks. The first method is class activation or also known as CHAMP. This model was released in 2015 and the main idea was to first train a classifier model then create activation maps. Class activation maps help to explain which regions of an image are important for predicting a specific class. Okay, let's see how actually CAM works. We know that a typical CNN consists of convolutional layers followed by a fully connected layer. CAM also uses a global average pooling layer after the last convolutional layer. If there are n different filters in the last convolutional layer, there would be n different feature maps as shown in the screen. The activation map for a specific output class is a weighted combination of all these feature maps. In this sample, the output CAM shows which part of the image has the most effect to estimate the label of the dot as output classification result. 
While CAM laid the groundwork for WSSS, GradCAM improved upon it by offering better localization and broader applicability across different CNN architectures. Despite CAM, GradCAM is compatible with CNN models that do not have global average pooling layer at the end. Another previously well-known model is SMOSGRAD. This method aims to identify pixels that significantly influence the final decision of a deep neural network. The method involves adding noise to the input image and then averaging the gradients of the class score function with respect to the input image. By doing so, it produces visually sharper sensitivity maps, aiding in better segmentation results. Okay, as said before, for training a WSS model, a data set of images with their corresponding labels would be enough. In the research papers mainly, these two data sets would be used by authors to show their model's accuracy. The Pascal Block data set contains about 10,000 images, while the MS Coco contains 328,000 different images. This chart from Paper with Code website shows the development of the WSS methods on Pascal Work dataset during the last decade. As it can be seen, each year new methods are suggested by researchers to gain a better segmentation accuracy. And surely there is still room for further advancements. We already talked about some old models, but let's see what are the current state-of-the-art models and how they work. Before explaining the current state-of-the-art models, we need to get familiar with a foundation model called Segment Anything Model, which was introduced by Meta in the last year. This foundation model is important because most of the current state-of-the-art models are weekly supervised are made based on that. So what is SAM? The segment anything model is an advanced image segmentation model developed by Meta AI. This is a great model for generating high quality object masks based on input prompts. These prompts could be points or boxes. SAM can be used to create masks for all objects within an image. While SAM can find the location of different objects in an image, it cannot give label to them. To do so, there are various methods developed to give a label to the segmented masks of the SAM model. One of these models is WSSS SAM. The main idea in this paper is to label each generated mask by SAM model. WSS SAM use Grand Dino model to generate bounding boxes from text prompts. Another model is FMA WSSS. This model also use SAM to improve the accuracy of generated activation maps and in overall increase the weekly supervised segmentation precision. There are definitely many other good models which if you are interested you can follow them to get familiar with the weekly supervised semantic segmentation field. I wish still here would probably be enough to get a little bit familiar with this topic. So thanks for your time and hope to back soon.